What's up guys, I'm back with the R35 Plus again to take it apart and get a good look at the inside for those who could possibly make this thing work better, hopefully. Well, I had to get a start ahead of time without you guys because these holes right here were way too deep and this takes some kind of torque screw. Which one is it here? I don't know the names of all these, but I'll, sh I'll show you inside here. It's this one right here. The T6H is the screw or the, the head that you need right here, but these are too deep. So these two, I had to basically shove, this is the only thing I can get to work was a, a flat head that had a long tip on it. And I was able to loosen these two bottom screws up. So I'm going to loosen these two up first and then I'm just going to take the battery out and go from there. So we can get a look at the inside and hopefully somebody out there can get something going on this that's better than what we have on it now because what we have on it now is not the best so i didn't want to take the screws all the way out until i took the battery out so you know what let me stop there let's get this battery out first this will be a first from here too so let's see what's the best way to go about this should i zoom in a little bit maybe i should All right, so I'm gonna try prying from under here gently. Oh, that's in just nice and loose, okay. So, let's see, I'm gonna have my, I'll probably pinch that out with my fingers, but let's just see, there we go. All right, so there's our battery. Feels about right for a 3000 milliamp hour battery. I'm just gonna set that aside. And here's the inside of the R35 Plus by S-Z-D-I-I-E-R. So it looks like we have a couple extra screws in there, unfortunately. I was hoping for less, but let's just get these ones out. I, I loosened the top one right there. Actually, I removed the top one. I loosened that one. I loosened both of these. Usually I like to go crisscross. Let's just take this one out first. So, fortunately, these ones are not gonna be in perfect condition going back in. I hope I can get him out. I'm pretty sure it's out of the threads. It's just in the, in the second half. So I'm not going to force it on these two right here. I'm going to have to, in the future, I've, I've run into this problem a few times where the I fix it type, this is a Strabito set. It's not I fix it, but Sometimes this just isn't long enough and this is too fat right here. That's the problem here. It's long enough It's just it gets too fat right here, unfortunately So let me zoom back out a little bit get in here because we're a little too close Let's See if any of those are gonna come out. All right, so these ones I have loosened But I feel like I'm destroying the the screws by trying to get them to go any further They're just kind of bouncing at the top of the threads there So I'm pretty sure once I get the rest of this open they'll they'll come out with it. So yeah, that's what's feeling like. All right, so let me get these ones here. Yeah, that's the perfect the perfect head is whatever that one is H six or whatever. I could feel it loosening up right there. So there we go. I could feel that it's it feels like it doesn't have any clips or anything. Looks like I got some thread right there. Some plastic thread came out with it. It's kind of hard to get in there. It's a little bit at an, at an angle again because the screw heads on this screwdriver are a little too fat. I mean, they're standard. That's what pretty much most people use, but just based on this design. All right. Man, I really hope those two bottom ones are able to come out. Maybe I can reach them with this head, magnetic head, now that they're up further. Let me give that a shot. Yeah, because, oh, it's off, so we're good. Okay, so I'm going to be real careful here, just in case. I don't know what's going to happen. We have, we have the volume on this side. We have the power button on the top. Anything else to worry about? And the shoulder button, so let's see. Okay, there we go. All right, here's the big reveal, guys. First of all, let's Take a look at how they did that. Looks like they put a little 
soft kind of silicone piece in there to kind of quiet down the the shoulder buttons. All right, let me move that out of the way. Might as well set this down and zoom in for you guys because this is what you want to see. Let me make sure it's right side up. All right, here we go. So there we are. Give you a good look at the top. See some uh, some fingerprints on there, huh? Hopefully you guys can read that. I'm gonna slide it down and check out the chip. What does that say on there? V one five six nine B M P two Y S one nine point zero zero two two four zero six. And we have our screen right there. Do we want to go further? Let me zoom back out. Okay, so let me flip it back this way. Even though it's upside down, that's right side up. Oh, there goes my volume rocker right there. I'm going to set that right there, which is what I should do with this too, because these, you got to be careful with these power switches. If Oh, this is a... A button so it's not a problem but the sliders you can snap those switches so easily on these on these boards so let's see is there any screws on the board I'm looking I'm looking and am I blind I'm not seeing any can it just lift right up I mean I know yeah there's probably something in there I know I have to unclip the LCD or I mean the the screen but and these ribbon cables, but do I need to? It's just basically gonna be the membranes and stuff. I probably should have removed the SD card to be safe before doing it, but I'm glad it didn't, didn't break in the process. So anyway, there's another little tiny chip right there. I'm not sure if that matters to you guys, but I think I'm not gonna take the board out any further than this unless you guys need me to. I probably won't put it back together till I hear from you guys. If there's anything else specific that you want me to check, but let me see if I can just get in close on whatever else we got here. Where did that chip go? Oh, it's over there. Does that say Puya? Yeah, so we have whatever that is, whatever that is. One of these days I'm going to learn this stuff, guys. I'm going to understand what I'm looking at here. But that's the main one right there. So it's not scratched off. I'm sure somebody could get an idea of something based on that. So let's see what we can do. If nothing, at least I tried. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Peace.